Willy Wonka is on a ship, and he wants to open a big chocolate shop in a big city. He gets off the ship, gets a map of the city, and walks around. He sees many chocolate shops. He looks at one and imagines his own shop and starts to dance. But a policeman says he can't even think about anything there, and he has to pay money for that. Wonka gives him the money and then sits on a bench because he has no place to sleep. Then a man called Bleacher comes and says he can stay at a hotel run by a woman called Scroobit. He says yes and goes to the hotel, where Scroobit says he has to pay some money. The money is not much, so Wonka says yes, and Scroobit gives him a paper that he has to sign to stay there. But a girl called Nudable says Wonka should not sign the paper without looking at it, and he feels worried. He tries to look at the paper, but it is too long to read. Scroobit tells Wonka that the papers are not important, and he just has to sign them. Wonka signs the papers and sleeps there. Scroobit also takes Noodle to a different room and locks her there. The next day, Wonka brings many people to the street and shows them his chocolate. He calls his chocolate hover chocks because they are made with a special bug that can fly, and they taste very good. Three owners of other chocolate shops see his style and get jealous. The jealous owners, Fickle Ruber, Prodnos, and Slubworth, go outside to try the chocolate, and Wonka says he likes them a lot. He gives them his chocolate to try, and they like it, but they don't say it. They ask many questions about the chocolate, and then say it is the worst chocolate ever. They also say that no one will like this kind of chocolate in this city, but then they start to fly. Wonka says he has the best chocolates in the world, and his chocolates make them fly. Then many more people eat the chocolate and fly too. But the big officer, Affable, comes and says Wonka can't sell his chocolate on the street, and makes him go. Wonka goes goes back to Scrooge's hotel, but she says he has to pay a lot of money for everything he used, and he is very surprised. Scrooge says if he has no money, he has to work for the hotel for 27 years. It was all in the paper that Wonka signed without looking at it. Wonka is very scared, and Bleacher pushes him into the basement through a tube. Wonka meets four other workers, Abacus, Piper, Lottie Bell, and Larry. They are stuck in the basement like him. They tell Wonka what he has to do, and he works hard. At night, when he sleeps, his bed falls apart, and he sees Noodle. Noodle says she has been his helper since she was a kid. She does not know what chocolate is, and Wonka is shocked that she has not tried the best thing in the world. He gets up and shows her many amazing things he has. He uses them to make chocolate for Noodle. He thinks of his mother. She made chocolates for him. She said her chocolates were the best and sweetest thing in the world. Wonka still has the last chocolate his mother made for him. He gives some of the chocolate he just made to Noodle. She likes it but feels sad about her life. Wonka says he wants to open a chocolate shop in an empty building he found in this market. Noodle says his plan is not realistic because he needs money, and first he needs to leave this place, which he can't. Wonka says he has ways to fix these problems. Meanwhile, the other chocolate shop owners meet and call the friendly chief. He comes and they tell him to stop Wonka from selling his chocolate. They are afraid of losing their customers to him. He has the best chocolate which people will love, but the chief wants something from them. The owners give him a lot of chocolate and money. Bleacher talks to Wonka and tells him about his work. Wonka has a plan to fool him. He says Scroobit has a crush on him, and that's why she is jealous of him. Bleacher believes him and is happy. Scroobit sees Noodle and Noodle gives her a photo of Bleacher. She says he is good looking. Scroobit likes the photo and thinks of him. Soon Bleacher meets Scroobit and they fall in love. They forget everything else and only care about each other. Wonka thinks this is a good chance to open his shop. He asks other helpers to help him with his dream. He says if he opens the shop, people will buy his chocolate and they will have money. They can pay what they owe and be free. They agree, and Wonka wants to sell the chocolates he has. He finds a secret way out of the hotel, but he sees that his chocolates are gone. He tells Noodle that a dwarf took them. He says he needs giraffe's milk to make more chocolates. She says she knows a zoo with a giraffe, but there is a guard there. Wonka makes a chocolate to give to the guard and goes into the zoo. The guard eats the chocolate and feels his feelings. He remembers his girlfriend. He talks to her on the phone and then sleeps. Wonka and Noodle get the giraffe's milk. He asks Noodle why she is stuck in Scroobit's hotel. She shows him a necklace and says her mother left her there when she was little. Wonka says he will help her get out someday and they leave. But Affable comes and scares Wonka. He says he can't sell his chocolate in the city and pushes his head into the water. Wonka goes back to the hotel and sneaks to the basement. He sees Scroobit and Bleacher in love. He tells his friends that his plan is working, but Abacus tells him something. He used to work for Slugsworth. He saw a map of the chocolate shops and saw that the three owners met under the church. The priest is Father Julius, but Slugsworth saw him and fired him. He had no money. Wonka wants to free all the helpers. A boy asks a girl to be his girlfriend, but she says no. The boy is sad. Wonka sees this and gives him some chocolate. He says he needs to show his feelings better. The boy eats the chocolate and feels his feelings. He asks the girl again, but better. She says yes. Wonka sells his chocolate to everyone in the city. He makes a lot of money, but the officer finds out. Wonka sees the officer and runs away. He hides in a pipe. 
At night, Wonka sleeps with his chocolates. The dwarf tries to take them, but Wonka traps him and asks him why he takes his chocolates. The dwarf, Lofty, says Wonka took some fruits from a garden. He was the guard there, but he was asleep. His friends made him take Wonka's chocolates. That's why he is here. Wonka says he is sorry and lets him go. The dwarf hits him, takes the chocolates, and leaves. Wonka tells Noodle this, and she says they have enough money now. They use the money to get the building Wonka wanted for his chocolate shop. Wonka goes to the shop and sees it is very bad but he wants to make it nice and hopes for it. After some days, Wonka makes the shop the nicest building in the city and shows it to the people. They go inside the shop and see a lot of chocolate and start eating it. Wonka is happy to have many customers, but then one of them eats a bad chocolate and his hair grows. Wonka finds out it is a bad chocolate and tries to stop others from eating it, but many people have hair on their faces. They get angry and break his new shop and burn it. Slugworth is outside and he is happy to see this. He planned to ruin the shop. At night, the servants are together. They are sad about their freedom. Wonka says sorry to them because he did not keep his promise. Then he takes out the last chocolate his mother gave him. Then the three owners come and they tell Wonka to go away from the city. Do not sell his chocolate and they will free his friends. Wonka says yes and gets the ticket for the boat to leave the city. But he sees the same dwarf with him and asks him why he is there. The dwarf tells him he will be with him always because he has to take many chocolates for him. Wonka sees a mark on his hand from Slugworth's hard shake. He sees Slugworth's ring is like Noodle's ring. He thinks Noodle and Slugworth are related. He thinks she is in trouble. Wonka wants to go back to tell the captain, but he finds out the boat has bombs from the three owners. He and Lafitte get off the boat before it explodes. The Choppet owners are happy and think Wonka is dead. Scrooby tells Abacus, Piper, Lottie, and Larry they are free because Wonka pays for them. But she tells Noodle that Slugworth pays her to be his servant. Then she makes her work on the hotel roof. Wonka and his friends want to save Noodle and plan to go to the place where chocolate owners meet. They want to show everyone they are bad by getting their books. They take the giraffe from the zoo and take her to the church to scare Julius and the monks. Willie and Noodle go under the ground with the lift, but the owners catch them. Slugworth is Noodle's uncle because her dad, Zeppi, was his brother. He has a gun at them. Noodle's mom asked Slugworth to help her when she was sick, but he left her with Scrooby and lied to her mom that Noodle died. He did this to get their chocolate money. The owners put Wonka and Noodle in their safe with hot chocolate. They want Wonka and Noodle to die. Wonka gives Slugworth some chocolate for Lofty, but the three eat it before the safe is full. Lofty finds the church and takes out most of the safe, so Wonka can pay his money. He does not know he saves Wonka and Noodle, who come out with the book that shows the owners are bad. Wonka gives the book to the police. Slugworth, Fickle Gruber, Probnos want to go, but the police officer sees the book and sees the chief's name in it too. The police take the chief and the chocolate mafia want to run again, but they start to fly in the air. Wonka tells everyone that the chocolate mafia ate chocolates that make them fly. They think they can get away because they have more chocolates. Wonka makes the fountain in the town have his chocolate and it makes a big mess. The owners fly everywhere and can't stop. They fly out of town. The people try the chocolate and Wonka sells his chocolate again. He takes out the last bar his mom made before she died. There is a note that says, it is not how you make chocolate, but who you make it for and share it with. Wonka gives some chocolate to Noodle, Abacus, Piper, Lofty, and Larry. He tells them they found Noodle's mom, Dorothy Smith, who works at a library. Wonka takes Noodle to see her mom for the first time. Then Wonka and Lofty go to an old castle. Wonka wants to make more chocolate there. Lofty thinks he did what he had to do, but Wonka asks Lofty to work with him. Lofty says yes. At last, Wonka makes his very famous chocolate factory. Lofty tells what happened to the others. Abacus, Belle, Piper, and Larry go back to their jobs and see their families. Scroobit and Bleacher are in trouble for ruining Wonka's chocolate. They try to hide it, but their skin and hair change colors. The police catch them. They cry because they love each other. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications to catch more videos like this. Thank you for watching.